bunny look? Real flowers. Oh, and they have real smells. Oh, hello, dear. Yes, yes. I am here with my bunny to pick out a bouquet. It is my boss's birthday. What could you recommend for an infuriatingly charming man? My, my. That was a fast answer. You must have a charming man on your arm as well. Hmm? Ah, That's sweet. Hmm? Oh, of course, Bunny. You get what you want. You carry on your shopping spree to your heart's content. I will focus on pacifying Antonio. My, my. Enzo, Agosti. Do you like a bit of danger, cutie? What do I mean? <laughs> oh, my word. If my bunny were not here, I might hug you. Enzo and I go back a good bit, is all? He and my boss don't always see eye to eye. Oh, bunny, come here. Let us get a selfie with the florist and send it to Enzo. Now, let me just... Hello, Enzo. Ah, watch your frothing, dear. You are on speakerphone. Breaker, I swear to God. Oh, don't do that, dear. I hear he quite dislikes that. You didn't tell me you found a cute little partner. Oh, I can just picture you two walking along the beach. You trying hard to hide your patchy chest hair. <laughs> Hmm. What do you want, Breaker? Did Antonio... Don't mention the boss man, okay? He has a way of, well, listening in. Hmm? Oh, no, no. We are not exes, flower child. We're co-workers, in a sense. Breaker, please. Just tell me what you want, okay? I am man enough to admit when I am beaten or terrified, so can you just please cut out this whole psychotic celebrity act and tell me what you want? Could you get my bunny and me reservations to the Blushing Siren, perhaps? Oh, Breaker, come on. You know you're not going to find out any more about your mom, even if I let you. Now, now, Enzo. Tis a simple request. I will behave. Unless my dearest master decides to activate me. All I want is to take my bunny to a nice dinner. Will you allow me that, Mr. Agosti? <sighs> Alright, fine, fine, Breaker. But if I get you in and let you look around the place, you better have my goddamn back if Antonio comes sniffing around, alright? Your generosity is of legend, dear. Oh, I also request gossip. I want to know all about your sweet little flower child here. Do you have a ring yet? Any baby names picked out? Breaker, that's enough! <laughs> mm. All right, love. We do need to be off. I expect a confirmation email within the hour for the Blushing Siren. Hmm? Oh, and dear, it has been so lovely meeting you. You look so confused. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I am sure Enzo is already hopping in his car to rush over now. So... Mm. Hmm. There you go. 
Ah, ah, ah. I won't hear it. You've given my bunny and I so much joy this fine evening. Ta-ta, love. Easy, there you are. Oh, thank God. Oh, come here. Uh, uh, I know. I know I'm squeezing too hard. Here, just... There. Oh, my God, baby. I... I damn near had a heart attack when Breaker sent me that stupid picture, but... <sighs> you looked real cute, by the way. Breaker, yeah, that's, uh, that's a name. What's her deal? Oh, fuck, I, um... Oh, God, it's so hard to explain. Um, okay, you know what? I will tell you what I know, but... <laughs> I don't think you'll believe me, though. <sighs> you see, Breaker is supposedly... Half siren and half, uh, oh, I don't know the word, something to, something to do with a bus, uh, a suck your bus, I, I don't know, fuck it. Anyway, the point is, the blushing siren was where her mother, the siren, used to perform. You see, Antonio's family had that siren perform for years, using her voice to ensnare people for the Silvestris. They, uh, they basically made her into a really, um, a really jazzy weapon of mass destruction. Look, I know it sounds ridiculous. Believe me, I didn't believe it either. Not until I saw Breaker in action. I've seen that woman wipe out some pretty scary people. She's, uh, she's an enforcer. A wild card that Antonio throws in as a last resort. And the fact that she came here, I just... <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll sit down. I... Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't know how you can be so unfazed by this, Daisy. Didn't she scare you? She was too busy with her bunny. Well, good. Maybe Antonio finally found a playmate for his, uh... His little ballistic missile of unrequited love. Wait, she was nice? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just... I'm so glad you're okay. And even if you don't believe me, that's okay. That's fine. Just... If she comes around again, I need you to call me, okay? Okay? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm afraid you've caught me, Daisy. When I said my work was dangerous, I meant it. Breaker and Antonio, they're, uh, they're only one part of it. There's... God, there's so much I want to tell you, but... I'm scared, Daisy. I've... I've fallen deep, you know? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you the truth. And if it's too much, I promise I will stay far away and I will let you live a life befitting someone as angelic as you, okay? Now look, I'll tell you everything, but just not here, okay? Would you be comfortable coming back to my apartment? All right. Ah. <sighs> Well, you, uh, you go on and lock up the store, Daisy. And then... Then we'll go talk.